Hello, my name's Monique. Welcome back. If you're new, welcome. And if you are subscribed, welcome back, guys. Um, I got a book review for y'all. Um, I am real excited. Gill Gilligan Finn's Dark Place. This is her second book. Um, her first one is Sharp Objects, which I have not read yet. But I've read this one, and I've read Gone Girls. Um, I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars. It's my favorite. Of 2021 um, I love thrillers so this was it had me hooked from the first chapter I really enjoyed this it's about a girl named uh, Libby uh, her mom and her two sisters were killed and they blamed Ben her his her older brother for the murder and then come to find out that um, Ben um, did not do it. Just so y'all know. Uh, this, this book is spoiler. So, if you've not read this, I wouldn't recommend going any further until you've read it. But this will be spoiler for all my, um, book reviews. All of them going to be spoiler. Um, but, um, I really enjoyed this. Like I said, I, I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. Uh, it's on my, um favorites of 2021 and like I said um, it's about Libby's like I said it's about Libby's family getting murdered her mom and her two sisters in 1985 and they blame Ben which is her older brother for the crime and he went to prison for over um, I think 16 months and come to find out he did not do it it was somebody else and that was the twisted part in this book and I really really enjoyed it I I gave this book a five out of five stars and I will be reading it again doing a reread and I can't wait to do my reread um, I like I said I really enjoyed this um, Gilligan Finn did a fantastic job on this book um, as of right now, I'm watching the movie. I started it last night, but I fell asleep. Uh, but, um, it's basically based off, it's based off of this book. But it's got my girl in it. Um, Charlie Tiaz, I think is her name. Um, I love her character. Um, I look forward to watching that later. Hopefully, um, to find out exactly who the killer was even though I know in the book but um, I really enjoyed this 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 was fantastic and I love the cover um, I have yet to read Sharp Objects I know that was her first so I'll probably read that one then go read this one again and then read Gone Girl which was her last one and do book reviews for all three of them so be the lookout for that very soon um I really enjoyed this. Five out of five stars. Hands up. Top. Um, if you've not read anything by Gilligan Finn, I would recommend her. Her writing is so beautiful. Um, it's, it's outstanding. I mean, you can actually read it. You can actually see the words. And her writing is, is phenomenal. I enjoyed every bit of it. Um, I, I would recommend this book it's, it's, it's dark it, it does have trigger warnings and stuff like that but um, it's it's really worth the read I really enjoyed it all, all the way to, all the way to the end I, I couldn't put it down so I really enjoyed every bit of it like I said but some of you may not it enjoyed it or anything like that um, like I said there is trigger warnings um, you just have to be careful what you read I guess um, but if you if you if you're into thrillers pick up Gilligan Finn she will not disappoint you I promise she will not disappoint you but um, I really enjoyed this book I can't say no more all I can say is go pick it up if you've not read it. 
see for yourself. But there is a lot of trigger warnings in it. So, I hope y'all liked that video. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Hit that bell button to be notified every time I, I post the content. So you don't miss out. And subscribe if you like what I do. Um, and I will see y'all in my next video. And happy reading. Bye.